Hello, my lovely co-creators. This is Vitika Kohol from Design for Awareness. And I am here with uh, Peter Gersten and we have decided to make a three-part mini-series YouTube videos on how to uh, support yourself naturally while you're undergoing radiation. Um, we are sharing our experiences because uh, we had such good experiences using uh, natural uh, supplements and uh, attributes. So uh, if you feel in any way, shape or form you resonate with this, maybe you can use it for yourself or share it with your friends. If not, no problem, of course. And uh, you can uh, probably find other things on the web that may be uh, good for you. Um, but in our case, we, uh, we have some nice things to share. Um, just for the viewers so they know uh, what kind of uh, radiation you went through, can you share with us uh, the type of cancer you were diagnosed with and uh, where the radiation took place? Yes, I was diagnosed in um, January of 2012 with a tumor on the left side of my neck, which was removed through surgery. Um, and uh, they couldn't find any other traces um, after I went through a PET scan. And then in uh, the early part of 2014, I started feeling lumps in my uh, left side of my neck again. And instead of one, um, I felt two, and then a month later, three, four, mm -hmm. five. Mm -hmm. um, so I um, decided to explore the possibilities of uh, some cures, natural and um, unnatural. And I decided to do the unnatural <laughs> radiation. So I did 35... Um, daily treatments of radiation on my neck, left side and right side, mm -hmm. and also on my mouth and my throat. Um, and um, it ended about four weeks ago. Yeah, uh, but next to making the decision to have uh, radiation, as you call an unnatural treatment, you decided next to that to, well, basically do everything else natural. That's, that's true. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, you changed out your life, you changed around your lifestyle, right? Well. By the time I got the cancer back, it was too late to use the natural um, um, nutrition, organic uh, foods to cure my cancer. I didn't have that, that option, at least I didn't believe I did. Mm -hmm. I should have used that option when they first removed the tumor in 2012 and probably it wouldn't have come back if mm -hmm. I did all organic and with the supplements mm -hmm. and the foods mm -hmm. back then, it wouldn't have come back in 2014, but unfortunately I didn't. I continued my, my lifestyle of processed mm -hmm. foods and meat and everything that, that you shouldn't be eating. Um, so, but in, in, in when I came back in, 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 um, um, in mass with four lumps, I decided that if I couldn't cure the cancer with the natural uh, remedies, I would it, it would help um, um, deal with the side effects mm -hmm. that I was going to encounter during radiation. Yeah. So I did uh, start um, before radiation on a natural organic food diet. I took some supplements and I did whatever I could to prepare myself for the radiation. Yeah, and uh, you turned even vegan and uh, you said you felt really fit and healthy because of that. Yeah, actually I felt better. It helped because um, I was in, in some kind of distress with my neck and the back of my tongue um, um, and it was getting worse but once I, I, uh, I tried the natural food diet and I gave up my old way of life as far as nutrition is concerned mm -hmm. I did feel better and I did feel stronger yeah. and I felt that um, going into the radiation I was in the best possible yeah. shape that I could be in. Yeah. And taking radiation or not, or curing yourself alternatively completely or not, this is an incredibly personal decision to make. Uh, anyway, uh, Peter uh, decided to uh, have radiation and to have everything around it as natural as possible and change as much around as possible with that. Uh, I like uh, love to assist people in doing that. And so uh, I arrived halfway during his radiation. We've been friends for a year. Um, when he told me uh, the cancer had returned, uh, I cleared up my agenda for, for uh, six weeks and came over to assist him throughout and after radiation recovery. So you came over after, after I had been undergoing radiation for about three weeks. Yeah, yeah, and the total was well, actually, it was it was supposed to be 35 treatments over seven weeks, but the machine broke down a couple of times, so it lasted into the eighth week. Yeah, and yeah. it's interesting because I thought I would have been prepared for the radiation um, as best I could. I thought I was in the best physical condition. Mm -hmm. I thought I was in the best physical uh, shape, yes. and um, 
as it turned out, um, uh, as you will see in the other uh, two videos that we made, um, I wasn't using the uh, proper products I should use. I wasn't um, healing, I was just um, getting by on a day-to-day -day basis so that I would feel comfortable. Once Vedika came over, she changed everything around and as you will see in some of the other uh, videos, my nutritional needs change from artificial to uh, natural. In the skin video, um, what I was doing for my skin only was postponing, um, as it was getting worse, postponing the uh, inevitable, mm -hmm. but um, we found something that even healed the skin while um, I was undergoing radiation. And, and now we're going to talk about the, the, mouth, the mouth, the mouth yeah. and the throat, how we dealt with that, because there are various side effects, yeah. some very severe side effects that occur during radiation. The radiation itself is painless, but the side effects is what you have to deal with during the radiation and, and, um, and even after the radiation. And particularly this area, uh, your mouth, your head, it's incredibly sensitive and uh, for this type of radiation. Uh, very common set, uh, side effects are, uh, well, dry mouth, you're still drinking a lot and it's just really good. Um, dry mouth, you can get a viral uh, like disbalance in your mouth, candida, Bacteria, infections, bacterial infections. Uh, problems with the gums, open sores are all not uncommon uh, side effects of uh, throat mouth radiation. Very severe side effects because you don't want to eat. Yeah, you um, lose your ability to taste. To taste, everything tastes metallic, you don't yeah. have saliva because the salivary glands are um, affected. Um, your mouth's affected so you can't chew mm -hmm. and of course you have a very severe sore throat so you don't want to swallow so all these things come together to destroy your appetite yeah. you don't even want to eat yeah. um, the first thing you have to do what I what I did is before you even enter radiation is go to see a dentist and make sure your mm -hmm. your mouth is in the most oh, yeah. proper condition as it uh, can be and tell them you're undergoing radiation and they will look because you don't want to have to stop in the middle yeah. of radiation because there's something wrong with your teeth or, right. or something with your mouth or your gums. So you go to a dentist first, that's the first thing, and then you, you yeah. um, do what you need to do after that to yeah. prepare yourself. Yeah, and as you will see in our video on nutrition, Peter had to use a feeding tube for a while. We put the links below this video, by the way. Uh, so um, for a while he was really um, well giving his throat as much rest as possible during the radiation. He still needed to swallow some foods, we uh, found some soft foods for that. Uh, we talk about that a little in the nutrition video, so you can look at that video for that topic. Uh, but in this video, we're really gonna talk about, um, well, the, the natural wow. solutions we found to keep him, well, practically you had, you never had candida, you had no infections of the gums, you didn't have to use painkillers, you, what else, what else? As a matter of fact, you um, were I, able to swallow still, yeah. still? After a, few, after a few days, I did develop a, a sinus oh, right. in my gum. Yeah. And I got worried because I thought, oh no, well, the radiation is getting worse and, and so forth and so on. But because of the nutritional, um, because of the organic food that I think I took beforehand, mm -hmm. and even in the beginning of radiation, I was still being a, uh, able to eat. And the supplements, the... Um, principally prob probably um, curcumin that I was taking that we talk about in the other video, um, it healed itself. Yeah. And I was amazed that it healed itself and it, it also supports your belief that you're doing the right thing. Yeah. So that was important to do. Yeah, yeah. So the things that we used for your throat were uh, turmeric. We used fresh turmeric root, organic turmeric root. Uh, this is basically the first thing um, you would do when you come out of radiation. radiation. Yeah, just use So that. in the cancer center on the spot, uh, straight from radiation, you would walk into the bathroom and we, had, we brought this little bottle of turmeric juice. Yeah. And you used basically, um, well, a sip, like a, a small bottle this much. You would gargle with it. First I would rinse my mouth out. Rinse your it. mouth with yeah, it, you gargle know. with it, and then you would just swallow it, right? Then I would just swallow it. Yeah, yeah we did yeah. that every day. and, and Yeah. Um, yeah, and turmeric has proven itself very effective and antiviral, antibacterial. So, um, say the the uh, condition of his mouth, in that sense, it was a protection layer. 
um, next to that, you used to rinse a lot throughout the day. You would have to because you had a dry mouth and, yeah. and you would yeah. need a, a and rinse. And to prevent infection. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and we made a very simple rinse and this is incredibly affordable. Yeah, so uh, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, miracle product. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, it lowers the pH of your um, uh, environment in your mouth. So uh, viruses, bacteria won't stand a chance. They just can start growing. So we would uh, take a nice uh, spoonful, say this much, and this is a dessert spoon size, uh, and put it in a glass of lukewarm water um, that you filled up, say three quarters, and you would rinse with that a few times per day, mm -hmm. and like really keep it in your mouth for a while, rinse it around. Um, also, you changed toothpaste. You started using your own homemade toothpaste. I started uh, with the homemade toothpaste even before radiation. Even before radiation, yeah. right? Yeah. I wonder who um, created that homemade toothpaste. <laughs> there are many recipes for homemade toothpaste online, but I happen to have posted one also. Uh, I will put the link down below so you can find it. It's incredibly easy. And it's on your website, actually, isn't it? It's on my blog, actually. On your blog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I blog about 100% um, organic recipes that you can use for uh, your body. Uh, toothpaste is definitely one. Uh, I personally have been using it for over a year and I'm very happy with it. And so is my dentist. That was a nice thing to hear. Um, and the uh, ingredients are very simple and affordable. Um, they are, um, in my case, I use Celtic sea salt. You can also use uh, Himalayan sea salt. Uh, anyway, make sure you have a natural, organic, um, full compound mineral salt. And um, that's the one ingredient. The next one is again baking soda, big one, really important in that one. And the third one, and then we're there, is coconut oil. So with these three, you can very easily and simple make your own homemade organic toothpaste that is incredibly efficient. Um, you can read more about it on the link below if you're interested. Uh, I have a question about that. I think many people right now will think, oh, salt, you're going through all this thing with your mouth and radiation, dry mouth, who wants salt in his mouth? How was that for you to, to use such a, because it is quite a salty toothpaste to use. Uh, the salt didn't bother me at all, even uh, whether it's in the toothpaste or on the food. Um, the soft food I would still eat, um, mm -hmm. eggs, avocado, I'd put salt on. For some reason, salt didn't bother me. It was almost appreciated. It was one of the few things I can actually taste also. Yeah. So I really enjoyed this, um, this um, type of natural um, tooth cleanser, actually. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. And, and also the, the bicarbonate, again, lowers the pH, so it was constantly being rid of uh, bacteria. You didn't need uh, any artificial um, uh, products, like chemical solutions? Yeah, but an interesting thing. No, no, no care? chemical. No, 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 yeah. no chemical. Mm. I don't think you would have let me use chemical. <laughs> I would have to like... I would have, of why? course. I mean, if you really want to yeah, use it. Yeah, but I would have wanted to use it. But in any event, um, <laughs> it's funny because if you look on the websites when it talks about mouth care during radiation, they all recommend fluoride. Toothpaste. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. maybe you can say a few words about fluoride, but um, uh, I try to stay away from chemicals. Yeah. Even fluoride, uh, under the um, premise that it protects your teeth against cavities because you lose the saliva, uh, saliva and maybe you're susceptible to some type of infection. Mm -hmm. But I, I just uh, didn't want to use any type of chemicals, yeah. including fluoride. Yeah. Um, so this is this. Um, toothpaste just worked perfectly. Yeah, uh, I'll show people how, what it looks like, by the way, that's kind of a fun thing to do, maybe. Uh, so this is my uh, little travel box of uh, homemade toothpaste. And um, so this is kind of the substance, this is what it looks like. And when I brush my teeth, I only use about this much. So you can go a long way I with such a little... a little less than that. Yeah, yeah you can even go... Well, I take more because I like the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So, but this is how much I use. And so this lasts me for about three weeks, maybe a month even. Um, and, well, yeah, if you make it yourself, you, you just never have to buy it again. It saves you money. Um, and... 
uh, also the coconut oil is a great moisturizer, right? You've been using it straight from the jar? Uh, coconut oil is great for many things. You can put it on your skin, you can eat it, you can put it in toothpaste, mm -hmm. um, you can cook with it. Uh, I eat it. Yeah, he started eating it. <laughs> I, t I have a small jar, I take it with me that I eat. It, it's a great moisturizer mm -hmm. for a dry mouth, whether you're sick or not, whether you have cancer or not. Mm -hmm. This is great for a dry mouth, takes away bad breath, yeah. and when you swallow it, it coats your throat. So I would use it after I ate, if my throat was bothering me, before yeah. I went to sleep, first thing when I got up in the morning. Um, coconut oil is another one of these miracle yeah, it lowers, lowers cholesterol. This is one of the rare fats, fats out there that are actually healthy for you. Um, Google on it, do your own research, and you'll find many, many beautiful things about coconut oil. Um, so we used uh, that for your mouth. Um, it's very simple. Oh, there's one thing you don't even leave the house without. without. Yeah, <laughs> what yes, is that? Share, a, share it with us. It's my spray. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> if you're hiking, I take the coconut oil, but just, you know, if you don't want to go with a spoon yeah. or anything like that, I just take this. I don't go anywhere with that. It's a spray bottle, and it contains contains uh, sage uh, and water, sage and, let me see, chamomile. All right. <laughs> da -da -da -da. And it's, so. it's, it's, it tastes great, um, and it moisturizes your, your mouth and everything and it's, if you don't want to drink water all the time just carry a little bottle like this and yeah yeah so yeah what, what, what we did uh, we invented our own mouth spray you just buy this uh, spray bottle any size it, that suits you you can buy it in the shop uh, in stores and uh, what we did we went to a whole food store and bought uh, organic chamomile and uh, loose uh, sage leaves at the herbs uh, department and um, what I did for Peter, I just uh, brewed uh, a tea, a very, very strong tea out of that. So um, he would have like a big glass uh, bottle uh, uh, full of that. I, of, of course, after making the tea, uh, I would um, strain it so all the bits and pieces are out of it and it's clear. And then uh, we would keep it in the fridge and it stays really good for about a week or two, up to three weeks even. Uh, just smell it and like, keep on tasting it to check if it's okay. But two weeks definitely is perfect. It's antibacterial, chamomile is very soothing. Uh, is, sage is antiviral, antibacterial as well. So it's a combination that you could handle throughout all of the, um, uh, the period of time that you were having uh, radiation. And you've always loved it. It's Still refreshing doing. and it keeps your mouth uh, fresh. You will notice when uh, maybe a family member or yourself, you're going through radiation of this area, your mouth gets so dry and this comes with sometimes like a less attractive uh, scent <laughs> of the breath. <laughs> and this is also a really nice mouth refresher in that sense and it refreshes up your mouth and so it feels good again. And yeah, so that is the spray that you've been using. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Uh, this is probably our shortest video of the three well, we're not, <laughs> ever made. We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. No, there were two um, liquids that I used. Two liquids. Uh, cucumber water. Right. Things that you could still drink and right. that are soothing for your soothing, throat. Soothing, right? Right, yeah. so yeah. And coconut water. Coconut water. Delicious and so nice. We bought the coconut water and yeah. we made the cucumber water. Yeah, we made the cucumber water ourselves by uh, just cutting up, say, a third of a cucumber in slices. Add it to a nice big um, pitcher. Pincher? No, go for that. Uh, yeah, Sounds with good. with filtered water, and uh, just leave it in the fridge overnight. Next day, you you throw out the the cucumber and all the beautiful, nice, fresh flavor and elements, healing elements of the cucumber will be in the water, and it's such a nice and refreshing drink. And uh, it was really it was easier for you to drink either these two then straight water right yeah yeah there was, was a big difference was, in your it experience changed the texture of the water almost or yeah. maybe just i taste it different it makes it but softer it, it was also a nice compliment to um the chamomile tea which was the easiest to drink 
Yeah. We had different yeah. teas that we made. You asked me to stay away from black teas yeah. and green teas because oh, they would dry out your mouth. You would try it, and I then would it, it would be so afterwards. It, black teas, uh, in a sense, contain a slow, low amount of uh, caffeine, like it's a tea version of caffeine. Coffee, of course, you really want to stay away from. If your mouth is this dry, anything that extracts moist from your mouth is gonna make it worse. Yeah. So caffeine, horrible. <laughs> and black tea, the same. Green tea even does it a little. Uh, but chamomile tea was yeah, always was the, good. Yeah, yeah, even cold, hot, it was the yeah, uh, easiest also. tea to drink. And you want to drink because yes. you want to swallow. Yeah, and you need to, to swallow. Cold. If you can't swallow food, then you need to swallow at least liquids. And, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, we, so that's how we kept uh, my mouth uh, and my throat um, um, in pretty good shape considering um, the side effects that can become very severe. Uh -huh. And it aided in the recovery because now my mouth in just under four weeks is in pretty good shape. I can eat almost anything. Spicy foods are still difficult, but I'm starting to even um, be able to eat them again. Yeah. And, and my throat, the pain is almost gone, almost gone completely. So I'm eating in that respect also. And hopefully I'm down, um, I'm down from five uh, formulas to now two or three. And hopefully, uh, unbelievably and incredibly, I'll be off um, the formulas maybe in another couple of weeks, which will be within six weeks of, of the last radiation treatment. And, and um, um, the people, the staff at the uh, cancer center couldn't believe how good a condition I was in my mouth and my throat yeah. Yeah. Uh, during the radiation treatment and, uh, and my health in general yeah. and my immunity system from, from just doing everything that we talk about in these videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're 72 years old, no fatigue, no infections, not even a single flu. No, that's nothing right. actually. I wasn't sick at all. Got no. you down. And my energy was, was still at <laughs> yeah. maximum uh, capacity. Yeah. And I was able to hike and take people to the top of Bell Rock um, during my um, eight weeks of radiation. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't fatigued at all, as you'll see in the other. It's, it was just everything combined. And you should see all three videos so you get a complete idea of what it is that we did during these eight weeks and, and since these last yeah. four weeks more to to get me through this very difficult period, yeah. most, cha most challenging period of my life. Thanks to this young lady, I was able to handle it very and nicely. Yeah, and because it was so beautiful to see all the things working on you so exactly. well. Exactly. I was a so test beautiful. subject, but um, it worked. Yeah, yeah. It worked. Um, I promote, if possible, natural healing uh, as much as I can. Uh, I do life coaching, natural nutrition, both as in mindfulness. Um, uh, from the Netherlands, I live in Amsterdam. Uh, but yeah, so the nice thing is also, I would say, if, you, if you're going through radiation, which is uh, not natural, obviously, uh, you can still support yourself in a natural way. And if you can sure. even um, pull into your lifestyle one, Thing natural and, and then maybe another one and just take a step a step I'm not uh, condemning anything else that people are doing you have to do what resonates with you there's not just one truth out there there's many truths all stories are different uh, but these things worked so incredibly well for for us and for me it was nice to see the strength of nature supporting you going through radiation it was really beautiful to be there and see the effects Bideker so, and, na and nature working together to keep me healthy. <laughs> well, and nature and you. I mean, you were working with all the yeah, natural... Yeah, I, I was there uh, also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, these three videos are great for you if you're going through radiation yourself. Especially if you're going through this kind of radiation. This Definitely. might be really interesting for you. See if it helps you. Uh, if not, also fine. And just thank you for watching. And thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you, Vidika. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is the end of this thank video you. on mouth care and how to naturally deal with, deal with the side effects of radiation. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share. Um, I am a design for awareness, so are you. And uh, if you share this uh, video, other people can expand their awareness through this sharing of our experiences here together. Uh, I wish you a lovely rest of the day. Uh, namaste. So much health, so much balance, and so much love. Bye.